today we will discuss about genetic markers and the methods with which we can identify them so here is a picture of twin sister which are which resembles a, li uh, a lot but uh, there is a difference from the picture we can see in their hair color one is with orange hair color another one is with brown hair color so all the similarity dissimilarity between them and all the features they are showing is actually coded in a, uh, their DNA. That sequence is actually responsible and is their DNA fingerprint or their genetic makeup that actually responsible for their phenotypic feature and genotypic feature. So if we talk about uh, the genetic marker, maybe that one is responsible for their difference and uh, individual uh, hair color. Suppose here is the sequence from the first girl and this sequence is from this girl so that actually uh, also resembles but uh, the difference is uh, with C, C and here T, T so this difference is actually responsible for the individual phenotypic trait or genotypic trait or any biochemical trait that are the any individual showing so these difference or uh, individual type of nucleotide stretch are called as genetic marker that is responsible for a particular feature showing by a particular individual. And the methods with which we can identify is including the first one is the restriction fragment length polymorphism in which we use restriction enzyme. As we know that restriction enzyme identify a particular sequence and make a cleave at a particular site. Suppose here in this case the restriction enzyme cleaves after each A and T nucleotide sequence and if there is a consequent AD sequence is present in the second sample so restriction enzyme cleave it again so after cleavage and the restriction enzyme treatment the First DNA sample will give two fragment while the second one will give three segment. And when we run the gel by loading these sample along with the marker, we get this pattern. And by comparing the pattern that we obtain after gel electrophoresis, we can find out the difference and the similarity between the individual with the help of this technique. There is a drawback with this technique is uh, that DNA sample we cannot repeat the uh, process again and again because after restriction enzyme the DNA molecule is not remain same as it is in, at the initial step. So this is the drawback associated with the RFLP technique. Another one method is the random amplification of polymorphism in DNA and amplification fragment length polymorphism. So what is with random amplification of polymorphism in DNA? Here again we have two different sample of DNA. In this method we need to design, we need to prepare a particular uh, primer, a random primer we will uh, design out for both the sample and we initiate the PCR, we initiate the synthesis of uh, uh, complementary DNA with the help of these random uh, primer of the samples. So after running PCR we get different different size of molecule uh, from bo both the sample and again the gel electrophoresis is the necess necessity of each step and so after this gel electrophoresis we again got a pattern and by comparing this uh, DNA fingerprint of both the samples we can identify the genetic marker. Next one is the amplification fragment length polymorphism in which the again there are two samples of DNA with the genetic marker present in the, uh, in the DNA sequence. Again here is we need restriction enzyme to treat the DNA sample. In the first case, we got three fragments after the treatment of the enzyme, while in the second sample, we got multiple fragments of different size. Now, 
here adapter play a very important role adapter is actually the uh, synthesized or known uh, nucleotide sequence that attached to the sticky end of the dna uh, that we got after the restriction enzyme treatment to convert them into blunt and dna molecule fragments actually so that we can design a particular primer according to the adapter that is attached to the sticky end so and also since as you can see here that on this genetic marker adapter get attached on both the side while in case of uh, uh, the undesired dna molecule it attached only at one side so after running pcr with a design primer we got dna molecule or amplified a uh, molecule of only a uh, targeted sequence and when the this uh, will be loaded on the gel uh, of agarose gel to perform gel electrophoresis we got a pattern of this kind and after observing the bio uh, the dna finger finger dna fingerprint of both the sample we can identify the gel genetic relatedness or difference on the basis of genetic marker between them so this is all about the techniques and if you like the video please hit the like button share it and subscribe my channel so that more videos you can get thank you